All right, good morning. Goody bong, Charlotte Patty. Uh, today's Wednesday, May 9th, about, uh, hey, got started about 8, 10 a.m. from Lynn Creek Camp, where we pitched our tents next to a small stream, which was nice, drowns out the, the noise of the stream, drowns out the random noises of the forest. Um, had a nice little dinner, no rain yesterday, which, which was in the forecast, but we didn't see any, and uh, no rain last night, which is great. Sunny this morning, 45 degrees, <clears throat> and we are on our way for a, uh, let's see, we're doing almost 19 miles today, 18.9 or something, and we will end up at <clears throat> near a shelter. So we had ourselves a little, I made a little campfire this morning just because I could. Had some coffee, toasted a bagel on the fire and I put peanut butter, cinnamon peanut butter and grape jelly on my cinnamon raisin toasted bagel. <laughs> that was awesome plus a cup of coffee. Um, we have this mountain to go over, a little mountain, about a 600 foot climb to get out of camp. We go over that and then we do a slow and steady, like 1500 foot climb. And then most of it's downhill or flat from there for the rest of the day. So not a bad day, elevation and incline and decline day so to speak and uh, it was me Mirage Venus camping out Swagman camped right near us <clears throat> somebody else was camped up the way a bit but not sure who um, we saw uh, Topper and Little Spoon had stopped for lunch at the last shelter so we're Sort of a half a day from them. We're hoping to catch them in Pearlsburg. Two good guys that we like being around. But we have the 18, 18 miles today, 19 miles. And then tomorrow we're going to do 23. And that should put us within striking distance, I think. 14 miles from Wood Hole Hosta. Woods Hole Hostel. And uh, that's where we're gonna meet Mirage's parents because they're picking her up and taking her off the trail. Which is sad but true. So we are, this is what my glorious trail looks like. That's my shadow. Look, I got my poles. And I'm wearing this buffy on my head because this buff, so they call it, because I had left my hat back in Damascus. And uh, I'm pretty sure Woodchuck is saving that for me at the Woodchuck Hostel. And uh, I can pick it up on trail day. Trail days when we go back a week from Friday just to celebrate being on the AT. Hikers from everywhere, come and join us. All right, the day is a, gonna be a good one. We'll stop and show you anything that's interesting. All right, this is exciting. We're doing four and a half miles of steady incline for 2,400 feet elevation. Uh, some of it's super steep like what I'm on now um, but as you can see it's a beautiful day it's 10 o'clock I think I got Mirage oh, she was right there and Venus behind her run into a couple southbounders today and otherwise Really good day, weather-wise. It's gonna be hot, though. 
And um, get some more water right up here. All right, that's it for now. So the mountain I'm climbing here is Chestnut Knob Mountain. At the top is Chestnut Knob Shelter. I'm sure it has a great view. Uh, this just opened up in the fields and uh, as I saw on the map, there's a little pond. Cute little pond out in the middle of nowhere. through that open area back there and it's still sunny and beautiful there's a nice breeze up here which is chilling the sweat on my body making me feel good and I've been down in the water coming up here so I'm hydrated really well so I guess you could say I'm happy out here I'm trying to show this chestnut knob mountain who's boss I think it's a tie right now but I'm gonna uh, keep going. I think that's just to go get water down there. Because the uh, white blaze is up ahead. All right, see you at the top. Look how beautiful this is. So quiet up here, except for the buzzing of a fly or something. I love when we get these pathways through the trees like this, really nice. Finally it's spring and the birds are chirping off in the distance, I can hear them, but I'm not sure you can. There's a little more of it opening up. There's a cloud going by the sun, giving me some shade. Look how pretty that is. It just keeps going. I got another, I think, mile to go to get up there to the very top. A lot of fall summits you think, oh, it looks like the top, but nope. It keeps going. Look at those cool looking clouds. That mountain over there. Still waiting for the leaves on that mountain. And this one too. <laughs> now we're talking, take a look at this. many times have I said next week it's gonna be really green <laughs> I was saying that back in uh, March and I was dead wrong really pretty <clears throat> oh. all righty I didn't know this shelter was gonna be so pretty I knew it was stone, but that's some good-looking stone there. <clears throat> and I believe this is the pink, the peak of Thorn Mountain, Thorn something mountain. It even has a door on it. Oh, chestnut knob shelter. Oh my God, look at that. How cool is that? Wow, that's beautiful. What a beautiful valley. Looks like the trail goes over there. Shelter, a little privy over there. All 
right. I am going to have lunch right over there. Forgot to show you the shelter. This is it. Bunks. So one, two, three, four, five, six bunks and a picnic table. But honestly, you could fit a few more people in here if you needed to. And that was probably once a fireplace. And there's the usual signage that we get in the uh, shelters. And there's our signing book if you care to sign in. Sometimes it's fun to track people, so sometimes we'll do it. All right, coming down off of that ridge line, which was very hectic. And for some reason, there's some horses here. <clears throat> All right, so I made it to the Jenkins shelter and uh, basically that was a 19 mile day. Got here at 6 p.m. Um, haven't seen the girls yet, we'll be in some Mirage. It's 7.30 now, it's possible they camp somewhere else. Um, they kind of thought this would be a easy day based on the ridge line that we would be on for a while, but that ridge line was super rocky and super up and down, so it really slowed me down, I know that. So they might not make it, I don't know. Um, so I'm having my dinner. Look at that. So that is a black bean chili. I put some half a pack of ramen noodles in there. And there's some sausage in there that I had that I was carrying, I cut up. And I put a bouillon cube in there, some some uh, Himalayan salt, and a one of my cayenne capsules. I have cap cayenne capsule pills. I just break them open and pour it in there. So I'm looking forward to eating that right about now. I'm just letting it cool down a little. Um, right in front of me is my tent. Uh, this is the, that's the shelter right there. I washed my shirt in the creek and I took kind of a little bit of a sponge bath on my upper body just so I wouldn't have that sticky salt grime on me. Uh, it was an unbelievably beautiful day. It still is. Look at that. Um, so probably be dark in an hour I hope they make it in if they don't there was a couple places to camp on the way down the mountain maybe a mile or two before here so we'll see um, so that's it for today I think it's been a good day um, tomorrow we're supposed to be 23 miles but if they get in here late and yeah, I don't know if they're going to want to do 23 miles because they'd want to get up early to do it. So we'll see. If they want to do it, we'll do it. Um, but it it is pertinent to get the miles in because we got to be at Woods Hole, Woods, Hole, Woods Hole Hostel on Friday night. And Mirage's parents picking her up there Saturday. So, so we'll see what happens. Um, Really unbelievable weather. This is really great. This is what we were praying for for two months when we were suffering in the cold. So, all right, that's it for now. I'll update you tomorrow.